Hi friends, welcome to Tech ARK IT YouTube channel. My name is Ravi. In this video session, we are going to see that how we can like uh, conditions, loops, functions, arrays, all this stuff. But using this, how can you make your first task? Example, say I have taken one task here. Here it is that. So one of the server if you so the task is that how to monitor cpu utilization okay when it went to uh, above uh, 95 percent or 98 percent it should send on a critical alert if it is within a 90 to 98 percent it should send an a warning alert if it is below that below 90 percent okay below 90 percent then it should not send any alert so this is the task so make one shell script to accomplish this task so there are so many ways to do that but um, first of all what i did is that um, so making this script and um, and scheduling into the cron job so that you can monitor your uh, uh, cpu utilization uh, how many times you want okay example say every five minutes you wanted to send uh, alert if cpu goes utilization goes high or every half an hour or every one hour something like that you can make this script so that um, uh, if you have if you do not have any monitoring tools to monitor your server then this is this script would be useful for you to monitor your cpu utilization okay let's go ahead and uh, start our template here i say cpu alert cpu alert is my script name and i'm going to scripts and edit this cpu alert script and say here we are going to see that uh, real time cpu utilization monitoring okay so i'm going to make a version one and here and say example say that so first of all i'm going to uh, specify that so whenever the alert is sent then i wanted to know that from which host name it has been sent so for that i am what i am going to do here is that i am specifying the variable over here uh, with assigning the values of uh, hostname so that what happens the hostname command will be executed on the subshell and it gives the hostname over there so if you deploy in any of the ho uh, any of the host this script so that what happens it's automatically capture that hostname using this uh, variable so the next one is that uh, i'm going to make um, critic critical or uh, critical is 98 percent whatever the value you wanted to send maybe you can use uh, 95 percent or something like that you can use so i'm going to make uh, the warning value is uh, 90 okay so if you want to use any mail programs you can use it or if you want to use um, any things you you have or if you wanted to just don't want to send any emails you wanted to log that into the some other files you can do that too so but here i'm using that um, difficult okay critical mail so whom you want to send the critical email over here okay so here your email address at domain dot com okay and here another one is that mail uh, warning so which you wanted to send to somebody else your email at uh, domain dot in something like this so wherever you wanted to send here so i wanted to store some log files somewhere else okay so
so i i would like to make that directory over here mkdir iphone p so i'm going to store that files here log into cpu util uh, cpu util history something like this and i'm going to make some log file there so the log file name would be something like this is uh, slash r slash log slash cpu util history right hist slash so the history file would be uh, cpu usage iphone so it should be append with the date so every day it should add the date to that file so maybe on a hours and day and year okay with dot log extension so this is the variables we have specified over here critical warning and critical email and warning email and uh, it's so if you, if you do not have any directory on the slash was slash slack so it's going to make that slash was slash slack cpu till history file so that cpu t i t i l h i s t is the file name and log file path it's going to be the same path which is going to be created with the happened with the hours day and year so now what we are going to do over here so every day uh, which going to be uh, create some log file over here okay let's say uh, touch actually this does uh, no need to create but uh, for safe side sometimes we do not have some uh, uh, permissions to create using the other uh, user or something like that to create the log file first then i'm going to make this uh, uh, for loop okay for so i'm going to make i'm going to specify maybe a path so where is the exactly the path variable over here okay paths equal to slash so for path path file in dollar paths okay so i'm going to do after the um, i'm going to assign a one value over here it is that uh, cpu load or uh, cpu load equal to so one command so that command is that uh, tap and i'm going to be uh, put that output into the file that's why i'm using batch mode over here and how many seconds iterations i want uh, two iterations and delay um, one second so delay in one second and two iterations so every two second value would be stored over here and out of it i am going to grab the value over here okay the value is that cpus cpus okay and that i am going to cut the first value over here tail using the minus one in the sense that the last value of it and here i am cutting that value into the i want what is the value exactly so uh, using the awk i am printing the value which i want actually so print dollar two okay and again i am using awk for cutting the another field using the dot because it's it comes like a 98 dot something or 92 dot something like this but i don't want that because i, I cannot evaluate those values if i get uh, one dot something like this right so instead of that what i'm going to do is that i'm going to fetch the first value of it out of from the value so example what is this value over here okay let's go get that file first and you can take this total count from here to here and execute on the command line so what happens so the first one if you see this what is the output we are going to get see this 
it's going to get the first two CPU CPU values here right using the tail minus one I'm going to cut the first one second one the this line I'm getting this line see this the second line I got only one line right in this line what I'm doing is that I'm cutting the second values over here using the print to dollar two so the first one and the second one in this so if you could see that the second value I'm cutting over here so what is the value you get this one this value you get it so in this 1.0.0 so 0, .0 in the sense I, I cannot evaluate 0, .0. so that's why I am cutting a using the AWK if and yeah, uh, separated delimiter is dot so that I am cutting the first value in the sense the first value of it so if you execute this entire value what I get so from the exactly top menu I am going to get the CPU utilization use use the value of your top command so you can if you can refer refer my previous uh, some videos which is I explained in detail the, the top command so you can see that you can also get that values so from there so what I did I got the I fetched the value whatever I want so from this value what I'm going to do here it is that I'm going to take the decision using the if command if the number what are the number I am getting over here the number is assigned to something else right so the dollar warning and the dollar critical dollar warning and dollar critical is the value then so what i'm doing here is that if the value is uh, warning and the critical then i am using again one more if condition over here i am doing that if a dollar cpu load value is greater than or equal to okay i am using quotation marks here over here because i am calling the the variable value over here greater than or equal to warning warning then what it should do find it should evaluate the value again so the dollar cpu load less than dollar critical okay then what it should do it should show some message over here so what is that message so the message over here I want is that the first one is the uh, date okay so that date I am going to call over here it is that okay so within the quotation marks over here the percentage full date and I am going to call hours and minutes and seconds okay I am going to call that all here and say warning dollar cpu load on dollar on host dollar host name so this is the message i'm going to load into the log file so what I did is that the both the values are numbers so I'm going to get is that both the values what are the warning value and critical values are the numbers then it's going to evaluate that the CPU load is greater than and equal to warning and CPU load is less than critical in the sense less than 98 and above 90 less than 98 and above 90 it should show us the warning message says that the so and so date the host, host name is this and the warning cpu load is this much okay and you can also say something different if you if you want to send the name 
email from over here you can simply say uh, eco okay warning cpu load dollar cpu load also okay how much cpu load it's going to get over here so that is the uh, hind the host name host is dollar host name so it's going to the it's going to get the value warning cpu load and cpu load how much percentage and the host is host name and it's going to be call the value is that what is the uh, mail mail command i'm going to use here how it is that mail if and yes and the subject is uh, cpu cpu load is warning okay and it should send the email to the persons who is the person so you just specify that uh, mail warning okay that is the uh, value so the first portion of it the first portion is going to send the warning message to the users and i am say that uh, here it's going to be a exit one in the sense it should exit from that statement again i am going to use uh, else if if the value dollar cpu load is greater than or equal to okay so i am calling the variable always calling the variable in the quotation mark would be a good good practice so again i am calling the dollar critical value here then in the sense the value is greater than or equal to in the sense if it is 98 or more than 98 percent so as per our critical message uh, critical threshold so it should say something the same the same uh, like this the dollar but here instead of that it's going to be a say critical okay dollar cpu load okay uh, on host dollar host name so it's going to be sent to the log file again sent to the log file so here if you want to send a mail again so then again see here instead of uh, dollar mail so you have to use uh, critical mail address over here and uh, instead of this cpu load warning you have to use uh, critical and say here also critical cpu load on the host then i am also giving the exit over here it is that it should exit from the command line in the sense exit from that if loop else if above is not true and below is the second value is also not true then what it, it say echo and say uh, within that the date maybe right so then here say okay dollar cpu load if you want to store this also on um, log file you can do that but the log file is going to be uh, grow more and more so or if you for your future reference if you want to see how much your um, cpu load is always you can uh, you can see that uh, log file so i'm i'm closing this both the um, loops over here and i'm closing the for loop over here so this is our script uh, so how i made the script over here it is that again i am going to explain you the script over here uh, maybe which is not uh, appearance i am going to change it to maybe 14 ok now we are going to see that uh, cpu alert script so until this we specified the variables over here is the path and host name is host name and the critical value is 98% and the warning is 90 and critical email is somebody else and mail warning is somebody else 
and always they don't want to get the critical alerts to all the people only key people can be involved here and warning can be involved to the uh, l1 guy something like that so that so the critical can be goes to the higher level management or higher uh, level people and warning level goes to the uh, all the l1 guys so that uh, they look up the warning uh, cpu load fast then uh, if they can take some action they can take immediately so that the warning will be come to the okay right and i'm going to create the uh, uh, cpu that uh, history file over here and log file based on the date and the log file touch and i'm going to specify the path and uh, calling this into the for loop and all this will be validated into the if using the so i'm going to assign the cpu load over here the cpu load i'm assigning to the uh, using from the top command i'm gripping the value so that the exactly the usage value i'm going to get using this command and that command i'm going to evaluate here it is that if the warning and the critical values here the warning and critical values are the numbers in the sense if i find any in the sense number if it is also number then it's going to be executed if somebody somebody say critically equal to some a b c d then it's not going to execute over here okay so then uh, it, it will be go to the else statement or else if it is the numbers then it's going to be uh, evaluate in the first itself and it's going to be next value say that uh, cpu load is greater than or equal to warning value so what are the warning value is 90 in the sense the whatever the cpu load current cpu load is below uh, sorry greater than warning and greater than or equal to warning and less than critical in the sense within 90 to 98 percent then it say cpu load is warning and if cpu load is greater than or equal to critical then it's going to be sent the critical email or else it's going to log a ok message so we are going to execute this command over here and say cpu load alert say no such a file are so something like um, permission issue over here and i'm going to use this cell script using the root user that's it and i did not get any command output over here but if i go to the log file and see here i can see that cpu hist directory has been created in that the cpu usage has been sent over here same in this date and in this time and uh, hours and minutes and seconds so the cpu load is okay on the host name is tech ARK IT. so like this it's going to keep on keep on updating that file so you know, how you can use that you just go to prone tab iphone e and uh, write the schedule over here example say every uh, five minutes i would like to i would like to uh, schedule this file sh and slash scripts slash cpu alert so like this every five minutes what it's going to do over here it is that it's going to <coughs> append that file based on your thing so i am not using any current app sorry so every five minutes in a sense what it will do every five minutes is going to be uh, executed and if the cpu utilization is warning then it send on a warning message if it is on a critical it's going to send on a critical message if it is on a okay then it's going to write to the log file it does not send any email alert so if you don't want to send this to be an any email alert, what you can do simply you can simply uh, sorry what you can do simply you can simply comment that uh, email uh, echo messages on the this command so this this echo warnings this one this one you can comment it this one you can comment it so that it does not send any email and just write to the log files that's it so that your monitoring of cpu real-time cpu utilization script is ready you can use it thanks for watching stay tuned please subscribe to the channel
Please follow us on social networking sites. If you have any technical related questions, you can ask.